Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Sean with another Tesla video. And in this one, I get my invite to configure my all-wheel drive Model 3. Plus, we're going to go through the performance specs of the Model 3 as well, because that is now uh, open for configuration. So let's dive in. And then at the end of the video, I'll tell you what I'm going to do with my Model 3 reservation. Okay, here is the email. It, the email came in today at around 1.42, but I actually had access to configure the all-wheel drive and performance version Model 3 last night. But here's the email. It's got some of the specs of the performance, which we'll dive into more in detail here in just a moment. And a little button that says design yours. So let's go ahead and jump in. I've already logged in. And right off the bat, one of the things you see that's different from 24 hours ago is now that you've got an actual option here with price for dual motor all-wheel drive. Previously, this just gave a, a, an estimation mid-year mid or something like, like July or something like that. But now you've got the option to select it. And then below that, which you didn't have at all, was dual motor all-wheel drive performance. And it does give you the specs. As you can see, it'll, it'll adjust the performance, the top speed, and the 0 to 60. Interestingly, the range does not change re regardless of which version you choose. So let's start off with the dual motor all-wheel drive. We'll hit next. <clears throat> and the next step is to select the color and the wheel options. So it defaults to black. We can go midnight silver metallic. We can go obsidian black metallic, which I think looks sharp. Deep blue metallic. We've got silver metallic. We've got pearl white multi-coat. And we've got multi-coat red. We're going to go with red. I've seen this one on the road, and I think this one looks the best in my opinion. And the next option is 18 or 19. I prefer the 19 inch sport wheels. All right, now we've got this option, which is the only one. The To get the, the, the white, you have to select the premium. So I'll go through that in just a second. All right, so we're heading next, and then we have the option for autopilot and full self-driving capabilities. Now, I'm gonna go go with enhanced autopilot. I was back and forth on this one, but for me, the most valuable thing is the traffic aware cruise control. I think the autopilot is nice, but it's not quite where I would want it to be personally uh, in order to use it. But we're going to go with that one anyway. Now, after the fact, it's six grand upgrade after delivery. And then if you choose full self-driving, it's 3000 now. This is a change from previously. Now it's 5000 upgrade after the fact when it used to be 4000 I believe. So they've upped that. $1,000 more if you wait until after the fact. I'm not seeing it, so I'm going to hold off on that. I know Elon said that there's the first big update to full self-driving coming in August, but I'm not going to buy something that's not ready at the moment. All right. So price at the moment is 61000 Ask for payment information, $2,500. Now, this is on top of the $1,000 I've already put into the Model 3 when I made the reservation. And then here's your summary. So, for the long range battery, it's 53000 Multi coat red, 1500 Sport wheels, 1500 Enhanced autopilot, 5000 It does also say uh, that there is a federal tax credit. And um, in Colorado, we also get a federal tax, or sorry, a state tax incentive of $5,000 at the moment, but that's not factored into this 
right this second. So once I put in my card information, I can select order and delivery is a three to five month window. But let's go back and go through uh, performance. You got um, dual motor, all wheel drive, 64,000. So this comes with uh, as well some, does it have it in this one? No, I think it has it in the next one, probably the exterior. Okay, so let's, we're gonna keep the color and with this, I have the option to bump up to the 20 inch performance wheels, carbon fiber spoiler, aluminum alloy pedals, and then that top speed of 155 up from 145. Carbon spoiler there. Check that out. It actually says dual motor with the line underneath, which is cool. There's the pedals. All right. Next. Now here's where I have the option to switch to the premium white. You can see there you've got white seats, you've got the white door area, and then this is interesting. This is where you would normally have the wood grain, but it looks like it's actually white. Interesting uh, approach. I'm not sure I, I like that. I'm not a fan of white seats, but I know some people really love them. All right, so let's go here. Of course, we'll, we'll, we'll keep enhanced autopilot selected. We'll skip full self-driving and our total for performance is $77,000. So the question is, am I gonna put in my order for the all wheel drive? Well, I had a chance to talk with my wife about it uh, this morning before I left the house and we're actually gonna hold off maybe for a month or two more. There's some projects that we want to finish up in July and August, and we think we'll be ready to put in the order in September. That should allow us enough time, hopefully fingers crossed, to get that delivery in before the end of the year and take advantage of the tax credits uh, to be applied for 2018, both the federal and the state. So what about you all? Have you put in your Model 3 all-wheel drive order or are you going performance? Put it in the comments down below. And thanks for tuning in. See you on the next one.